Can HIFU be performed for submucous fibroid? What is a submucous fibroid? It is a fibroid which protrudes into the endometrial cavity. Even small submucous fibroids can cause symptoms such as heavy and painful menses. Generally, submucous fibroids are classified into four types. Type 0, the fibroid is entirely in the uterine cavity. Type 1, more than 50% of the fibroid is in the uterine cavity. Type 2, more than 50% of the fibroid is in the myometrium of the uterus with less than 50% in the uterine cavity. Type 2 to 5, the fibroid extends from the subserous part of the uterus into the endometrial cavity. What are the options for patients with submucous fibroid? Number 1, laparoscopic myomectomy. Number 2, transcervical resection of the fibroid. Number 3, high intensity focus ultrasound or high FU. Let's look at the options one by one. Number one, laparoscopic myomectomy. This is a surgery where an incision is made on the uterus and the fibroid is removed. The uterus is then sutured in layers. The advantage of this method is that the fibroid is removed from the body. It is a relatively easy operation to perform. The disadvantage is that there will be a cut in the uterus. Since the fibroid is submucous, there is a high chance that the incision on the uterus will extend into the endometrial cavity. Since the endometrial cavity is breached, patients who conceive after this surgery is usually advised to undergo an elective caesarean section. There is a small risk of uterine rupture during pregnancy. There is also a risk of bleeding during the surgery. Uncontrollable bleeding may lead to removal of the uterus. However, this is not common. Number two, transcervical resection of the fibroid. In this surgery, a small telescope known as a hysteroscope is placed into the uterine cavity and with a hot metal loop, the fibroid can be cut into small pieces and removed from the cervix. This surgery can be performed in type 0 and type 1 fibroids. In some type 2 fibroids, this surgery is still possible. If the fibroid is large, especially in type 1 and 2, Gonadotropin releasing hormone analog or GnRH analog is usually given for one to three months to shrink the fibroid to make the surgery easier. The advantage of this surgery is that there is no incision in the abdomen and in the uterus as everything is done through the cervix. The patient can attempt to conceive two months after the surgery. There is no risk of uterine rupture and the patient can deliver normally. The disadvantage of this surgery is that it is a difficult surgery to perform as the space to perform the surgery is small. If the fibroid is large, then the surgery may need to be done more than once. There is a risk of excessive fluid absorption during the surgery, which can be dangerous. There is also a risk of bleeding during and after the surgery. Since the surgery is performed via the cervix, women who have not had sexual intercourse, that is Virgo intacta patients, may refuse this surgery as the hymen will be torn during this surgery. Number three, high intensity focus ultrasound or high foo. In this method, ultrasound waves is used to ablate or kill the fibroid. The advantage of this method is that there is no incision in the abdomen or the uterus. The patient can conceive normally and deliver a baby normally after the surgery. The patient can go home the day after the surgery and suffers minimal discomfort after the surgery. There is no risk of bleeding or blood transfusion. The disadvantage of this method is that the fibroid is not removed from the body. It is still there and will slowly shrink by being absorbed by the body. In submucous fibroids, most of the fibroids will come out of the uterus via menses. This process will take time. Since most of the fibroid will be expelled via menstruation, the patient may suffer from heavier menses just after the HIFU surgery. And as the fibroid becomes smaller, the menses will become lesser and lesser. In some patients where some of the fibroid tissues remain in the cavity, she may have to undergo a hysteroscopy to remove the fibroid. Case study. Miss S.A. is a 32-year-old Virgo Intecta patient who saw me with a problem of heavy menses. She also complained of difficulty in passing urine. Examination and ultrasound showed a large submucous fibroid. 
MRI confirmed that it is a type 2 submucous fibroid measuring 4.93 times 5.03 times 5.71 centimeters. Ultrasound measurement of the volume of the fibroid was 104.78 cm3. I told her all the three options discussed above. She chose to undergo HIFU as she is Virgo intacta and did not want vaginal manipulation. Complete ablation of the fibroid was done on the 28th of February 2022. She did not come up for follow-up until seven months later. She said that she had heavy menses with clots over the last six months. Sometimes she passes out tissues. The menses is getting lesser now. Examination and abdominal ultrasound done showed a small submucous fibroid, but it was not clear. A transrectal ultrasound showed a submucous fibroid measuring 4.20 times 2.72 times 2.60 centimeters. The volume of the fibroid was 15.46 cm3, which is a reduction of 86%. Her menstrual flow has reduced and she does not have the symptom of frequently passing urine. She is happy that she had chosen this non-invasive surgery to shrink and expel her fibroid. HIFU is a non-invasive method of shrinking fibroids. This is useful even in patients with submucous fibroids. For more information, please WhatsApp plus 6010-928-928. 2883 or visit our webpage at www.mlackerfertility.com. Thank you.